In the video today, we're answering a viewer question because Jeremy A asks us why are some plants considered weeds while others are not? In the United States, there is a federal weed list, and many states have their own weed lists as well. Some common flowers appear on the state weed lists, yet appear in gardens and flower bouquets across the country. For instance, baby's breath is considered a noxious weed in California, while the ox-eye daisy, your typical white daisy with the golden center, is considered a weed in numerous states, including Colorado, Kansas, Ohio, and West Virginia. Some weeds are simply plants that are not wanted in the place where they are growing, but are useful at other times. For instance, a wild raspberry plant smothering a crop of strawberries planted by a farmer. In other areas, a weed might be an invasive species of plant which threatens a country's natural flora. An example of this is broom or Cystius scoparius, which grows abundantly in Scotland and is used in ornamental landscaping, sand dune stabilization, and wasteland reclamation. It was even used as a a symbol of Plantagenet kings. However, in Australia, New Zealand, and parts of North America, it is considered a pest species and is often eradicated. Sometimes weeds were considered undesirable in the old world before they came to the new one. Weed seeds were unintentionally spread after they were mixed in with the seeds of other plants, like those of vegetables. Other times, farmers found weeds useful to help other plants grow, such as sweet briar in New Zealand, which was used to help grafted roses grow, and then became a pest when it spread. Typically, weeds also possess certain characteristics that make them particularly irritating to the human race. They grow and spread very quickly, which can hurt the surrounding plants by depriving them of sunshine and nutrients in the soil. Their spread can be attributed to their abundant seed production and the hardiness of those seeds, which can lay dormant in the soil for long periods of time. Weeds themselves are also hardy, often able to live in extreme conditions and in places affected by human interference. To sum it up, weeds are typically extremely difficult to exterminate from a garden bed entirely. Other than acting as an invasive species in new areas, weeds also are often considered such as they are plants that pose a threat to farmers and their crops. Weeds can contaminate crops, reducing crop quality. They can host diseases which kill the crop. They can shelter insects in the winter which will then eat the crop. And they could also produce toxins, infecting the crop with chemicals that are dangerous for human consumption. Needless to say, farmers tend to want to keep weeds away from their crops. They spend many millions of dollars every year on herbicides to keep weeds at bay. But even that it doesn't stop all of them. Additional money is lost on crops that fail or are contaminated because of weeds. That loss in profit means higher prices at the grocery store for the consumer. Despite all of the flaws of weeds, many do have some benefits. They provide soil stabilization and nectar for bees. They can also be food for wildlife or even humans, as well as being occasionally used for medicinal purposes. And of course, as alluded to, weeds are big business, and many jobs are created because of them. After all, how many fewer workers and home lawn and garden products would be needed if weeds were as easy to kill as that houseplant you're always struggling to keep alive? But to sum up, weeds can be defined in a variety of ways. A plant growing where it isn't wanted, a plant that interferes with farming or grazing, a plant that was not intentionally sown, a plant that is persistent and detrimental to the plants around it, among other things. Basically, what it comes down to is that weeds are simply plants that humans don't want to have around for one reason or another. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below. And do not forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Looking for something else to watch right now? Why not click another video linked to on the screen? And as always, thank you for watching.